Hi there. I'm Conan O'Brien from Late Night with Conan O'Brien. Uh, don't adjust your television set. As you can tell, uh, things are a little strange here this evening. Uh, the power went out at about uh, 4.15 this afternoon. Not just here, but as you all know, if you've been watching the news tonight, all over the eastern seaboard, Canada, uh, and uh, no one quite knows what's going on. It's affected our show in the following way. When the power went out, we usually tape at 5.30. Entire uh, studio audience, which was waiting downstairs, desperate to see Conan O'Brien, had to be evacuated. So we have no audience this evening. Uh, if we can get a shot of that. That's kind of what it looked like the first year I was on the air. <laughs> For anybody who is here, it's completely empty now. Uh, we have no audience. Um, the Rockefeller Center authorities are not letting us uh, let the audience back into the building. Uh, and so we have no hope of getting an audience. Um, I'm here with uh, whatever personnel agreed to stay. Uh, whoever was uh, loyal to me and believed in the future of this show decided to stick around, which is about four people. So uh, we have some, uh, some cameramen here, our director, uh, some, some people violently working in the booth. We have some limited power, and I'm not kidding about this. I think you can see we have some lights under the cameras that would normally be used in a mining operation right there. That's, uh, we've strapped lights to the bottom of the cameras. There you are. Thanks a lot, Ken. Good to see you. And Ken has a, that, he, you wear that thing all the time? Is that, you're a gynecologist in your uh, spare hours, is that right? Okay. Why did you have that thing? You just had that. No one else has the appropriate equipment. Why do you have that? I'm always, I'm ready all the time. You're ready all the time. <laughs> yeah, you're just a pervert with equipment. So anyway... Very, uh, it's very strange here, um, and uh, I, am, uh, I am joined tonight, sitting next to me, uh, my announcer, Joel Goddard, who uh, fought hey, valiantly for this country in the <laughs> Korean conflict, uh, has agreed to, uh, to help me out and sit next to me. Uh, how are you tonight, Joel? Fine, thanks. How are yeah, you? Yeah, this is kind of a strange experience. It is. It is. It's, uh, well, it's mood lighting. It's very... Are you coming on to me? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> Toshi's out of town. Yeah, right, right. You find me attractive. All right. Uh, very strange. I'm glad to see that you. this is what you wear when you're... Because you're in a voiceover booth most of the time announcing, right? uh, you, uh, you dress uh, pretty much like Archie Bunker. Uh, yeah, that's a real me. This is you. All right. And uh, you, thank you for, for sticking around. I appreciate it. My pleasure. We have... Um, we actually have... This is what's going on right now. Uh, in uh, Manhattan, this is down. I believe is this down near? Do we know where this is? Is this near? The Lincoln Tunnel. This is near the uh, Lincoln Tunnel, and stop. it's near the ferry stop. And this is actual. This is actually from the NBC helicopter feed. Uh, this is this portion right here. These are actually. This was my studio audience. That small part right there. <laughs> They're the uh, people that had nothing better to do. I think uh, Regis's audience is over here. Uh, these are Letterman people and cars. They're more affluent. Uh, but anyway, this is, um, this is uh, actually everybody trying to get, this is uh, on, the water, uh, on the waterway, trying to get on the river to take yeah. ferries that will take them to, I, I think it's Weehawken or Hoboken, Basically, things have gotten so bad here in the city, people are going to New Jersey, which is always a sign that, uh, that we've hit the wall uh, and that things aren't going well. Um, here's our plan tonight. We have, uh, obviously, uh, we, we have a, a standby show. We have a standby show that we're going to go to. Um, but I thought that uh, we would, um, in the spirit of late night television, just try and do the... Uh, the best we could for a little bit of time, and then we'll go to our standby show. Uh, and let's do, just do the best we can for a couple of minutes here uh, to try and improvise a show with virtually no power, no audience, and uh, none of the uh, people that normally support uh, this, this endeavor here late night. Uh, the band, led tonight by uh, Jimmy Vivino, led most nights now by Jimmy Vivino, while uh, Max Weinberg is on tour with Rick Springfield. Uh, uh, you are, uh, now Jimmy, you are, uh, you're with the band and you guys don't have full power, you have some well, power. It's like every good hospital, we have our own, emer own emergency uh, power here. Right, so okay. Fine. Well, the band looks chipper as always. power, man. Yeah, all right. Why don't you do me a favor and just to try and get us in the mood, 
If you would just play the uh, Conan O'Brien theme song the best you can right now, and then we'll come back over here. So uh, please bear with me. Uh, the show's just starting, and nothing's that different. Uh, I, I'm about to do a killer monologue. I won't do one tonight, uh, but uh, trust. So <laughs> it's kind of uh, good news for everyone, right? Uh, guys, why don't you play a little something for uh, us? Go ahead. You know, I think that's the first time, because whenever I uh, hear that theme, I'm always backstage uh, getting ready, and, and, and then I'm right. entering during that during the theme right. song, and I'm about to do a, a killer monologue every night. That's the first time I've ever been able to sit, in, in 10 years almost of being on the air, that's the first time I've ever been able to sit and just listen to you guys play my theme. And it's really not very good. Oh. That is, it's really, on, it's really kind of corny. It goes on a little too long. Yeah. Wee wee well, wee we wee. Have Joel. We have Joel speaking. Yeah, yeah. Making room for me. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's right. Um, yeah. You were. This is another thing that's uh, completely true. We had a pretty good lineup tonight. Yes. But um, our uh, NBC uh, Rockefeller Center, not NBC, but Rockefeller Center. And again, I'm not faulting them. I think wisely is not letting people into the building. Elevators are not working. Right. Uh, they're not letting people in. So our guest lineup cannot be with us here this evening. Correct. Uh, so um, Only some. Yeah. So uh, why don't you just uh, read as if uh, who was going to be on the show. Let's see. Tonight from the Broadway show Chicago, Oscar-nominated actress be, Melanie can, Griffith. Okay. That was... What was that? <laughs> <laughs> you want to like... Wanna talk, well, yeah. That's what you... I don't pay you to go... What if you did that every night? I'd be the only... Sh I'd you be the only, only show with a manic depressive uh, <laughs> doing the announcement. Uh, tonight is uh, well, Melanie Griffith is going to be here, but uh, I guess you've seen her before. Right, from the slumber uh, room. Yeah. Hope her marriage is working out. Uh, <laughs> no, you know, really, let's hear you do it the right way. Music What's that? It needs music on. Music. No, yeah. I can't hear that. I can't hear that theme again. I just oh. can't. No Ta offense. Just, just. <laughs> Tonight from the Broadway show Chicago, Oscar-nominated actress Melanie Griffith. <laughs> and now, and now say will not be here because our elevators don't work. <laughs> will not be here because our elevators don't work. Very nice. That's great. Wow. Very nice. Who's next? From the new movie, The Battle of Shaker Heights, Shia LaBeouf, and musical guest, The Dandy Warhol. Yeah, very nice. With the Max Weinberg 7. Yeah, we knew that. that was, oh. that's, uh, <laughs> it's completely a given. Uh, oh, okay. We have a standby show, which I guess we have to go to uh, pretty soon. This is a show that... Uh, let me tell you what's happening in this show. Mark Wahlberg's on this show. Is he going to be... Have we probably passed the no, point where he'd be on? We're probably, he's probably on right now. And this is a rerun from when? Maybe we have a date on it? Uh, no. Probably, uh, six months ago? No, we, we don't have a date on it yet. No date on it? Not we don't yet. know when this show... Uh, that could be a fun game you could play at home is guess when this show was originally uh, aired by what I'm saying and what Mark Wahlberg is saying. Um, first. What's that? May 21st. May 21st, this show coming up from May 21st. Not that old. That's milk that's starting to taste a little gamey, but uh, is still drinkable and sold in some stores. Uh, Jerry Ryan's also on that show. She's one of the sexiest women, I believe. We'll definitely get to her. What's that? We'll definitely get to her. Okay, Jerry Ryan. Love Jerry Ryan. And then a group, Queens of the Stone Age. That's a good group, Queens of the Stone Age. Yeah. Going to be on. So that sounds like a pretty good... Uh, Pretty good show. That's a show with power, with an audience. Uh, I'll be wearing uh, makeup, so I'll be more palatable. That's going to be a real professional show. I'm looking forward to that show. Jeff, what do you think we ought to do? Should we just throw that show right now? 
Sure. All right. Uh, you should be seeing me uh, tomorrow night with a regular program. Uh, we're told that uh, the power is going to be up fairly soon within the next couple of hours. And uh, we hope everybody, everybody out there uh, stays safe and uh, has a good evening. And we'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy this rerun.